we need a lot of people to get trained in emergency medicine to serve the country. And why emergency medicine specialty is unique? Why the residency is unique? Because it will not teach you just clinical skills. It has academic trainings. It has a lot of administrative work apart from your liberal clinical training. You need to know how to establish the department. You need to know where is the monitor, how the defibrillator is working, where is my research team is. Team building, everything is a part of a residency program because there is no one man show in emergency medicine specialty. You need a trained team of doctors, nurses, paramedics to save the life of a patient. And you need to learn a lot of administrative work, how to talk to a consultant, how to talk to an administrator to get the things to your ED, how to transport a patient in the ambulance, how to talk to other consultants to build the relations. All these are part and parcel of emergency medicine specialty. So this is unique by having academics, administration, and clinical practice. The first 15 minutes of care, what we deliver to the patients who are in emergency, will definitely change the complete outcome of the patients. We can save a lot of lives, a lot of people dying on the roads, a lot of people dying with a lot of medical emergencies, surgical emergencies, orthopedic trauma, whatever. We need a lot of doctors. There is a huge demand everywhere in the country, taught, starting from your uh, Thyroid 1, Thyroid 2, Thyroid 3 cities, villages, everywhere. But there are lack of trained staff. So demand is very huge, but supply is very less. We should have our own capacity building training programs to train our doctors, paramedic nurses to serve for the country. Maybe it will take 5 years, 10 years, 20 years. Doesn't matter. We should start, we should focus to do those trainings in the country to give the best possible quality emergency care for all the patients at any point of time. Said, as emergency medicine, you know this in a specialty, people might be having doubts, uh, queries that what will I become at, at the end of my career, my end of my training in emergency medicine, the one year training or a two year or three year training. I would like to tell you there are a lot of career opportunities for you people in emergency medicine in India, abroad also. You can become an emergency a medicine a registrar, a consultant or a head of the department. You can become a medical administrator. You can become an EMS consultant. You can become a, a medical superintendent of the hospital. Because emergency medicine will teach you not just clinical, it will teach you about academics, administrative, a lot of things will teach you. There are a lot of demand is there everywhere. Each and every hospital, they want a proper trained emergency physicians. As there is a lot of gap between demand and supply, there will be a lot of opportunities for people to practice your clinical work. Uh, you can become an administrator, you can become president of your hospitals. There are a lot of scope. If you are update yourself, learn yourself, innovate yourself in emergency medicine specialty and you could trust your specialty, choose the best mentor, a lot of opportunities are there across the country and internationally also. Fellowship in emergency medicine, one year residency program. As I told, we need a lot of capacity building training programs in India to serve the country. The Fellowship Emergency Medicine Program, which is accredited by Royal Liverpool Academy and Medversity, is a structured program. They have a, a, a faculty criteria eligibility, they have a good curriculum, they have a structured modules, logbooks, everything, which is a lot of scope for the anger energy doctors who has completed their MBBS coming out of different institutes to test the emergency medicine specialty. In the one year, you will be able to learn how to talk to a patient, how to examine a patient, how to document the patient findings, how to resuscitate the patient and how to save the patient's life. If you, if you go on to the one year full training, 12 months training, you will learn a lot of things and you will become a good emergency physician at the end of one year. I request because there is a huge need for the country to serve the country, patients are dying with lack of emergency care. I want people to choose this emergency medicine specialty to get them trained in emergency medicine and save the lives of people in the country.